Hey y'all, how's it going? <clears throat> well, it's a shame that we Americans have no more privacy. Um, the cell phone business is a shame that the government's doing this with the uh, false signals with their cell phone towers that they put up. Um, and they're doing it with airplanes and vehicles as well. This is the device here. This is one of the devices. There are several of them that they can use, but this is one of them here that they can use to get the information. You know, we live in a world that uh, there, there are, you know, no more privacy. It's becoming more and more like uh, Great Britain all the time. But the Department of Justice has dirt on its hands, and they have been caught doing this with the false towers and sending up small planes as well as vehicles going around emitting emitting a signal that tells your phone that they are a cell tower and it gives the strongest connection so your phone will automatically switch to their device once your phone switches to their device switches to their device um, they have total access. It, it it totally opens up your phone and they download all of the information. As you know, spy planes. It gives a new definition to the word spy planes. They're not just taking pictures anymore. They're taking all the information. Now this was they're already trying to block this information. This came up with one of my searches. It's in the uh, description box below the links. This is one of the links that says cell phones. Um, you know, they're using planes to get cell phone information to steal it from you. But this was an article. They're trying to cover this information up as good as they can. Phone towers aboard planes to spy on American mobile phones and scoop up data from tens of thousands of innocent people in the process. Absolutely, this is not a mistake. Um, some people are misunderstanding, and I don't know that this is properly worded, but there's not an actual tower on the plane. But there's a box that sends out a signal that says that it is a cell phone tower to release the information and piggyback the call and it tricks your phone like I said it tricks your phone to open up and give them the information the Department of Justice in other words the uh, oh shoot the um, oh boy I can't think straight hardly the uh, U.S. Marshal Service is under the Department of Justice. Secret U.S. spy program target, targeted American cell phones. Absolutely, it sure does. And I would bet that the same thing goes with the computer. Because what is a cell phone? The cell phones that they have now, the new ones, are basically a little computer with a phone, you know? we have our internet connections through the telephone line and especially when you're going wireless if they can get your information from a cell phone they can get it from your computer I'll bet anything on that but these are several articles talking about it you can go over there and check it out about the planes Um, but yeah, Justice Department uses fake cell phone towers on 
Cessna planes to spy on Americans. Like I say, they're doing it with vehicles too. Here's uh, the uh, article. The Justice Department's using Cessna aircrafts outfitted with fake communications towers in its attempt to catch criminals. But each flight gleans information from tens of thousands of Americans. Dirt boxes, they're calling them, have been used by the U.S. Marshal Service since 2007. I'll bet you they was using it before that. But the phones weren't that good then. They've got some really good phones now that can do all kinds of things. And I mean, they, they get all your stuff. What you've searched online, who you're talking to, um, you know, your cell phone stores an unbelievable amount of information on it. But yeah, you know, unbelievable. There's a bunch of them around the Washington area. The uh, Russians are ticked off right now because it was close to the Russian embassy as well as the White House. We, has a, we have a president that talks a lot on a BlackBerry. So these things, you know, will give away all your secrets if you have them. It's a new world we live in today, guys. A whole new world in which this information age totally robs you of your privacy. Spy for the Sky program revealed. Yup. Like I said, it gives a whole new meaning to the word spy plane. Look at this. I like this. Verizon sucks. Can you hear me now? <laughs> you know, because the cell phone companies are going to have to do something about this now. Unless you want your information, uh, unless you just don't mind them getting your information and knowing who you talk to, knowing your patterns, your habits. I mean, they can they can get a uh, psychological profile from this information easily. Cell phones come with a responsibility, big responsibility nowadays. Like I said, the older ones like this, they're not going to get so much from but the newer ones, these Blackberries and Androids and stuff like this, man, they're going to get a lot of stuff. They've got the technology. They've had it for a long time. And I'll say it again. If they're doing this to the phones, they're doing this to the computers. I know people don't ride around looking for a signal on their laptop, but when you go and check into a motel, I'll bet you anything that they can look at your stuff with that connection. A whole new era we're living in. Department of Justice, U.S. Marshal Service, the Stingrays, a threat to cell phone privacy. See, that was a vehicle. My thing is no cell phones. It makes life a little bit more, you know, difficult. One time I had to travel back on the interstate, travel back about five miles to get on to a uh, rest stop to use a payphone. Um, but yeah, it's a whole new world out there, guys. No more privacy. But this is what the phone gets, the signal. And this is what you see. And you think it's a, you know, you should think it's a real connection, but it's not. It's a trick so that they can get your information. Unsecured lines. Every button you press, they'll know it. You don't even have to do a search. It, it has that information on it. I mean, these phones are really smart. If you don't mind somebody looking through your keyhole, you don't mind this. But this is what's going on. Like I said, we have a president who talks on his blueberry all the time. What kind of stuff do they get from that? All kinds of stuff, guys. 
all kinds of stuff. So the planes, they can put it on, uh, you know, they can put it on the, uh, whatchamacallits, the drones and stuff. Not only can they uh, look with the drone with a camera, but they can fly around with this box and open up your phone and look at all of your private information. Absolutely. So, you got a choice. You know, all the major medias have picked this up. I mean, this is not something that's uh, wild and crazy out there in left field tinfoil hat type stuff. This is for real. So, uh, you got a choice. What you could do is take the battery and your SIM card out when you're not using it. And then when you need to call somebody, you put it back in. Make your call. But it's not going to help you for receiving calls. You'll just have to check your messages. But what a what a shame that we got to go through that, huh? have to go through all of that stuff just to be able to use the phone that you're paying your hard-earned money to use. It's a shame that uh, they're doing this. Uh, like I say, uh, time to make a decision. How well do you value your privacy? because it is in serious danger serious danger the drones got them on there the little Cessna planes every time you see a plane it could have a box on there and it can get your wireless computers too the best thing to do is to be hardlined in there with the phone and your computer you know it's it's a shame that people we got to might have to go to that extreme but that's what it's looking like it's coming down to anyway i hope everyone's well i hope you guys are doing good and having a great day um this is it's a shame that this is happening that our government's doing this to us but they don't trust us we can't trust them God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns, y'all. Your Second Amendment protects the First Amendment to the Last Amendment. And it can protect you and your family as well. And put dinner on the table. And I think it's fun to just shoot and do target practice. Anyhow, i uh, leave all the links below. Um, check them out. Read the stories. And, uh, you know, make your choice. If you don't mind your uh, life being pried into and searched over, don't worry about it. But they're, uh, if they're doing this, there will be more steps to come. Take care, all. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.